we got something special for everyone here and everyone watching live at home. We have ourselves a super fight. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Damian Aaron Nitkin. Damian Nitkin, big opportunity here taking on UFC champ Aljamain Sterling. UFC champion. Aljamain Sterling! Yeah, what a pleasant surprise. It's gonna be a great matchup. They are always full of surprisers here at High Rollers. UFC champion in the house says, hey, uh, yeah, I'll put the shorts on, get out there, and do a little submission grappling. All right, introducing first for this super fight, standing to my right, he stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 182 pounds, representing Atlas Grappling, you know, and he fights from Las Vegas, Nevada, Damian Aaron Nitkin. And the man to my left, he is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, holding an MMA record of 21 wins with three losses, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Alto, the fuck master. What an introduction there from Matt Perino. And the referee in charge, Darren Branch. And Damian Nick had uh, a couple quick submissions tonight, so he is no joke. He's a bigger fighter, too. 182 pounds. Aljamain Sterling's probably in the low 150s, I'd guess. Maybe 160. You know, and he's got an extensive, you know, wrestling background. He yeah, wrestled great collegiate wrestler for a hoss stroke, yep. Damien going to his guard here. Aljo on top. Hard to sweep those collegiate wrestlers. They got such good bases. I always love seeing the UFC fighters and obviously other Bellator fighters yeah. come over, compete in our ring. What and a, just get a chance to showcase their skill set outside. What a treat you for know, you guys um, at home. And Damien yeah, you know, attacking awesome. well off his back. There's so many parts of mixed martial arts. Like it's nice to show how one fighter can be so good at one level of it. Yeah, we're always full of surprises here at High Rollers tonight. Do, no different UFC champ, Aljamain Sterling with a surprise performance. Getting here at to High show Rollers. himself as a competitor, you know, he's showcasing himself, you know, to be able to say, look, I'm not just a UFC champ and I could do this, but I could do all these other things too. Aljo looks like he's setting up a takedown. Shades of his collegiate wrestling right there. And he got in deep on an underhook. It looks like he's going to finish that. He got him right to the cage. Yep. That was all timing. He got so deep on that underhook, he didn't even need to tap the knee. I'm always interested to see if they end up using their hands. All right, guys. Got JD commenting from so home. Cool. He just saw a little titty squeeze. I missed that. <laughs> did Al Jermaine did? All right. Nice. Al Jermaine trying to step I over. I mean, it's very good. It's been big. It's 50 50 right now. He was able to get yep. top mouth and he was able to recover. Good guard play by Damian Nitkin there. He's got such a um, smile on his face. He's either he's really enjoying, enjoying himself. himself or he's trying to instigate Al Jermaine. Damian having fun in there. I like his style. He's uh, keeping Al Jermaine. Uh, Defending his game a lot. He's attacking. Al Jermaine staying sharp there. Does not want to get caught in a triangle or leg lock. 
Damien laughs off the cartwheel pass attempt there. Nice, oh, nice, beautiful pass. Yeah, Aljamain yeah. in a quarter guard right now. Damien uh, underhooking that leg. He's gonna go to a little half guard game if he can, but Aljamain trying to isolate that right arm. And wow, he does, gets nice. into a full mount. mount. And now Aljamain playing to the crowd a little bit. All smiles, setting up a head and arm choke. Big fan of the head and arm. Al Jermaine in the full mile looking for like a head and arm choke. Damien knows what's coming. He pulls that arm back in. Really doing a good job of hiding those ankles. Al Jermaine tightening his ankles while he's got that top position. It's making it yep. hard, you know, for him to, for Damien to step on his ankles to break that. Yep. Good mount from El Jermaine there. Yeah, really heavy on top. Trying to isolate that arm there. Yeah, Another, yeah uh, you gotta see a little bit of little showboat fake there. Fake ground and pound there. Right. 30 seconds left, oh, Damien. Gets a little trip there, able to get back to his feet. Both guys laughing there, enjoying themselves. Like seeing that. 10 seconds. This one's gonna I go mean, to OT. Going to overtime and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen, who's gonna shoot. Yeah, Al Jermaine, the smaller guy and the better wrestler. Let's see Damien's strategy, if he's even gonna play on his feet or just pull guard. Or gonna sit, yeah. I'm excited to see what's All gonna right, happen. Make I'm some expecting noise. him we are to going sit to down. Victory. Oh, no. He's gonna play with fire here. Let's see if he can take Al Jermaine down, the Hofstra collegiate wrestler. Oh, There's the on. butt scoot. I'm not, I, I, I love seeing in these overtime, you know, a, a takedown. It's my favorite, personally. Yeah. No points so far. Damien ends up pulling guard. Going in on a foot attack here. Oh, Damien thought he had it there. No. He attacked I didn't the see foot. A tap. Yeah, I'd like to see that again. Damien thought he had something. Now. This one's right, over. It's going to go to guys. Darren Branch. That pass right there. Yeah, that's sometimes the, make some things, noise things happen so quick in there. It's hard to see. Damien was attacking that foot, and I don't know if he thought he saw it tap, but All there's right, something the he was not happy about. Like decision. The Funk Master, Alderman Sterling. Al Jermaine gets the decision victory here from referee Darren Branch and retains his UFC title that really wasn't on the line anyway.